here of round number two. As we are in Ooh, game number three, game three, I'm curious who's going to be on the play. Uh, now, of course, in this matchup, and this is one I've actually played a lot. Um, this is, this is you know, uh, uh, if you read my article, Star City Games, you know that I am a huge proponent of humans in this matchup, and Jessup is going to start things off with an ancient ziggurat oh, and I a champion of the parish. I love these silver border sleeves. Or white border sleeves? I don't know. I love them, though. They are white border. Yeah, they look a little yeah. gray. There's a the basic planes. You never want to see the basic planes in your opener against Jeskai. No, nah, you don't. The path to exiles and field of ruins then just becomes so much more powerful. Jessup was thinking about playing a vial right away there. He might just go champ, champ, maybe put a counter on this one. Yeah. I like this. Let's get aggressive. Hundred percent. You know, if he had the turn one vial, sure. You know, but he played turn one champion of the parish. You just want to get these on the battlefield. Put as much pressure on Rossum as possible. Try to play something to disrupt uh, from like a Wrath of God or Supreme Verdict. Oh boy, if you're a Jessup, you love seeing your opponent play a Serum Visions here. Yeah. Go a little bit digging if now. If he doesn't have a bolt or a path this turn, a hundred. He's oh dead. boy. The game is no, oh. it's not. Oh, he no, has a it's chance. not. He has a shot. We can still play. Jessup does not look happy to see that on the other side of the battlefield. Thalia's the draw, and he actually had a lieutenant too. Now I might still just play the lieutenant. I mean, it gets in the most damage uh, over time for sure. Yeah, if we're gonna play lieutenant, triggers a plenty. Each champion of the parish will get two more counters. We're looking at how much damage we're we looking at here? Four, five, 11. six, seven, eight, nine. Wait. That's 12? 12, yeah. You're at five? Sup? So, now you spend two mana, pop that. Uh, Thalia Garden of Thraven comes down, pumps the Thalia's lieutenant, puts you to three. You're going to need a lot of lightning helixes to recoup. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's an attack for 12. Yeah, so that's an attack for 12 and an attack for three. So I think you should be at five. Yeah, we got to check that life total there. So 12? Yeah, so he should have taken 15 over the course of it. Yeah, I mean, checks out. No fetch lands cast or used. This is, I mean, you put the right number of counters on all the creatures. That's yeah. definitely 12 damage on that attack. Three damage on the previous attack. Should be at five life. I believe they just miscounted while attacking. Yeah, that's what I think happened. I mean, there. I thought it was 11 for a second. You yeah. Know. So there we are. Our life totals are correct. Now Rossum is down to five. Now Rossum's going to put one on the top, one on the bottom. Of course, we're going to see an untapped land here. Otherwise, he's dead. So there is your Sulfur Falls. We'll pass the turn back over to John. His play's obvious. He'll blow that engineer explosives here in just a moment. Jessup, of course, is going to look to play something pre-combat. Uh, I, would, I would tell him not to play a vile fourth champion the draw. Well, any creature at this point is going to be pretty good. Uh, Two-mana creature here protecting you from the injured explosives. Obviously, the champions of the parish are going to die, but two damage coming in from Thalia's lieutenant. Sends Rossum to three life. Precarious position to be in. He's going to need a string of removal spells under a Thalia Garden of Thraven mm -hmm. here. Now, a great place to start, of course, is Lightning Helix if he can find it. He will start with a Snapcaster Mage. Boy, he's cast a lot of Serum Visions this game. This is not a great place for Austin to be, but he can still um, play on as he's at three. Yeah, and he's chump blocking. If Danny has land plus Reflector Mage, the game ends on the spot. Well, if he has Reflector Mage after sideboard against this deck, he's a brave man. Sometimes, I will say that. you know, I actually like Reflector Mage more than I like uh, Phantasmal Image. Like, sometimes you just get swept and you just have a bunch of dead Phantasmal Images in your hand. What is this hand for Ross? I see a Wear Tear. A Serum Visions and lands? Boy, that's not going to do it. Here come the attacks. D-E-D, -E -D dead. It's yeah, dead. Well, if he if he draws a Wrath. Yeah. If he draws a Wrath. Let's see what he drew. He just Serum Vision, though. If he didn't bottom, bottom. Yep. yep. Serum it's, it's another Snapcaster Mage. It's nothing that's going to get the job Dude, done. Dude, guy Control just so <laughs> good against humans. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Danny Jessup going to win this.